what is up guys my name is Nick and welcome back to a nether warzone top 5 video man today we're gonna be talking about five guns that you definitely need to try in warzone and when I say definitely I, I literally mean it these things are crazy good and considering the fact that there is no meta weapon in the game right now there's not one gun that everybody seems to be using it's a good time to broaden your class setups and make it a lot more easier on yourself and I, I mean really really easy so I, I was a pro advocate I was always saying the certain weapons were better than other ones and when I when I mean that I'm talking about like the kilo I always said the kilo is really good the ram 7 the growl all that kind of stuff but there's some cold war weapons that are really really broken at the moment and you guys definitely want to use this now I'm talking about like the AK-47 from cold war even the XM4 there's some SMGs we're gonna be talking about it all man and I got a great class for every single one of these that I want to share with you guys now before we get into the video if you guys could drop a like on this one let me know if you guys like the top five series so I could keep making classes like this for you drop a comment on this video letting me know your favorite weapon at the moment it doesn't matter what it is you could even say riot shield bro I don't care I'm, I ain't judging I actually don't use a riot shield but <laughs> my buddy's really good with it but he's also a scumbag <laughs> Make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys are around here as well. All right, let's get into it. I want to talk about these classes. And the first one I want to talk about is actually going to be the XM4. Now, the XM4 is a gun that is definitely broken. And when I say definitely broken, I, I literally mean absolutely broken. You want to use it. You want to smack people with it. And it's going to do an amazing job. So the first thing that you want to throw onto the XM4 is obviously going to be the suppressor. And that is the agency suppressor. So you can get some sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. And now it doesn't end there, guys. The effective damage range also comes with the barrel as well. And this is the 13.5 inch reinforced heavy. This gives you effective damage range and it gives you bullet velocity. Now, what I really like about this is that it doesn't take away much. It takes away aim, walk, and movement speed and sprinting move speed, which is really not too bad. After that, we're going to go over to the SOF target designator for the laser. This gives you even more effective damage range. It's crazy this thing gives you so much effective damage range and also gives you hip fire accuracy which could help you shoot people before you have time to ads which is really nice to have and now we're not going to throw in an optic or a stock onto this weapon we're going to go to the under barrel and that has to be the field agent grip for horizontal and vertical recoil control you kind of need it and it does really help out a lot and the last attachment on this is going to be the ammunition the salvo 60 round fast mags so you get more bullets and you could reload pretty quick and now it does take away some ads but really it's at the end of the day it's it's not bad whatsoever so that's the xm4 that is a great class and that is definitely one you guys want to use for that now Let's talk about another assault rifle before I move on to an SMG And this is another black ops cold war weapon and that is the AK-47 if you guys saw my video on the AK-47 It's slowly but surely becoming my most favorite gun in the game. I love this thing It's crazy if you guys control that little amount of recoil this class has you are definitely gonna be smacking people And I'm not gonna say it's one of those guns like the kilo where you can absolutely shred people at 150 meters meters plus it's not but it's really good for 100 meters and closer which really most gunfights happen in 50 meters or closer anyway so I wouldn't really worry about that now the first thing you want to run on the AK-47 is the GRU the GRU suppressor this gives you sound suppression vertical recoil control bullet velocity and effective damage range we already know that it's the GRU suppressor it's really good it's like the monolithic but better I actually find it a lot better then the barrel is going to be the 20 inch Spetsnaz RPK barrel for even more effective damage range even more bullet velocity but you also get strafe speed which allows you guys to actually go move left to right while shooting at the enemies and ADSing and stuff and, and just really you get to move a lot faster with that so it's really good but here is the downfall to this attachment it takes away vertical and horizontal recoil control so if you're going for those long shots like I said don't do it with this one right here it's not going to work now I do need an optic on this one unfortunately and that's going to be the microflex LED optic it's the smallest one nicest one really easy to use and if I wasn't using an optic if you guys actually like the iron sight which I don't recommend I don't like it then you might want to to go ahead and throw on the Spetsnaz grip for horizontal and vertical recoil control but I find the optic a lot better in this case the next one is gonna be the stock and that is the a the AGB I was gonna say the KGB skeletal stock so you can get sprint to fire time which is really nice and it helps you out a little but it's enough then you also get ADS firing move speed and aim walking move speed as well and the last attachment is gonna be the ammunition 45 round mags we don't need to run the VDB 60 round fast mags we don't need to run the ba backlight or bakelite 60 round mags nothing like that 
the 45 is enough it's the lightest and it doesn't take away any ads so that is the ak-47 right there now let's move on to a modern warfare weapon and this is probably my favorite close range weapon in the game yes I'll agree, it's not as good as the MAC-10, but for some reason, I do like it a lot better, because the MAC-10 is great, it's fun, it's it's easy to use, but it's pretty much just good up close. This one right here is the MP5 from Modern Warfare, and it's good at all ranges. Now, I recently changed my class very little bit, but that little amount does actually make quite a difference. So, the first thing you want is the Muzzle Monolithic Suppressor. You guys know what it is, it's the downgraded version of the GRU, and I'm sorry to say it, but that, that's what it is, man. It gives you sound suppression, and damage range that's it it doesn't give you that if <laughs> whatever anyways the barrel is the fss mini which is aimed down sight speed and movement speed pretty good now normally i run the stock ftac collapsible and i still recommend running the stock ftac uh, collapsible but if you guys don't like it you could definitely go ahead and run the stippled grip tape for sprint to fire speed and ads speed those two on one attachment is really really good whereas the ftac collapsible collapsible it's hard to say a lot okay it gives you movement speed and ads speed only so you don't get that sprint to fire time and sprint to fire is really worth it so yeah go for it if you want but this stock is really nice to run as well but let's move on to the last two attachments on this one and that's the underbarrel commando foregrip aiming stability and recoil stabilization is what you get with it and the ammunition 45 round mags just to get a little more bullets into the magazine that's it right there those are the three classes so far now the last two you guys might be very shocked with the last two classes i'm about to share with you guys but they are insane so one of them actually you know what i'm, I'm, I'm gonna switch it out it's a craig six but i'm not gonna put that in, that in this top five i feel like the craig six deserves its own video so i want to show you guys that probably in an upcoming video i, I don't know when but I, I feel like the craig six it's definitely a top five but i haven't ever shared this class yet i don't want to do it on the top five i hope you guys understand so i'm gonna switch that gun now we're gonna we're gonna use another gun for the the number one spot for for now i want to say another weapon on this list is the m4a1 now you guys know the m4a1 man like the m4a1 is a crazy gun it's like the xm4 but not as good if that makes any sense like it's i, I like it it's a lot more accurate a lot easier to use but I find the XM4 a lot better, and I never thought I'd say that. So the first thing on this is the monolithic suppressor. I don't have to say it. You guys already know what it is. The barrel is the stock M16 Grenadier. You get damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. I can't lie. That's actually kind of nice. Those are three good things to have on one attachment. After that, the underbarrel is the Commando foregrip. Again, you guys know what this is. I don't have to explain it. I, I probably already said it in this video. The next one after that is the ammunition 60 round mags. Now, the reason you want to run 60 round mags is because, like, yeah, you just you want to run it. You want to have more bullets. It's, it's Warzone. You need to have more bullets. And the rear grip is the rubberized grip tape. You definitely want to get that recoil control. And it does help out a lot. Trust me, you don't need to throw on an optic on this class. It's good as is. You don't want to change that. So now let's move on to the last weapon. And this is where it gets kind of hard because I've never actually changed a weapon in the middle of a video. I don't know which one to put as the last spot. But I'll look through my classes very, very quickly here. And I'll share one with you for sure. One that I've used. So... Uh, here's a good one. I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. I think I've given it to you guys before. I, I actually I know I've given it to you guys before, and that is the bullfrog. Now the bullfrog is a very different type of gun. It's not one of those guns where you're absolutely gonna smack people up close. It's not 100% guaranteed to smack people up close, but it is one of those guns where you could actually take it to mid range and do a very decent job with it at those ranges as well. So I will say there is some attachments that might not seem like they make sense, but if you guys actually do use the gun, you'll understand why. I went ahead and ran with them but you guys could do what you want to do and change up whatever you want to change on this class so this is kind of just like a bonus class really but I really want to get that Craig 6 class out to you guys I just I can't do it in a top 5 I don't know why I just I can't do it I don't want to do it I want to actually make a video for that gun before putting it out in a top 5 so for the actual bullfrog the first thing you want to do is the muzzle GRU suppressor and we're not using this for sound suppression I never use these suppressors so I my red dot doesn't appear I mean that's a good thing you're, you're not visible on the map when shooting but i really use them because this one gives you effective damage range it gives you bullet velocity and it gives you vertical recoil control now bullet velocity is going to make you feel like you have hit scan rather than having to leave your shots vertical recoil control is nice because your gun is a lot more stable and effective damage range really makes your gun stronger at further distances so that's really nice the barrel is the 6.7 vdv reinforced you get more effective damage range more bullet velocity this thing feels like hit scan it's so so easy to use i just wish they buffed it and made it just like 10 damage stronger 
or or even one or two damage stronger per bullet and this gun would definitely be the meta if they did that the kgb target designator is the actual laser you want to use for more effective damage range and hip fire accuracy for the underbarrel you want to use the spetsnaz grip vertical and horizontal recoil control and for the ammunition the 65 round mags so that is it guys that is the top five i wish i could share that craig six class with you guys i just i can't do it yeah i'll make a video you guys will love this class it is so overpowered but anyways thank you guys for watching this video drop a like and comment on this one as well as subscribing to the channel with those notifications turned on thank you for watching my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one peace